guys welcome back to my channel so i know it's been a really long time since i've last uploaded but today i'm going to be trying out the pony effect grind sparkling shadow well, i originally saw this product on the beauty insider channel and i was like oh my gosh i want to try it out it looks really fun as though i'm pony trash um by the way i did a video trying to follow one of pony's makeup tutorials and um, for some reason, a lot of people watch that video, which I don't know why, because whenever I watch that video, it's so cringy. I mean, my whole life is so cringy, but thank you to anyone who watched that video. And I was surprised because some people in the comments are like, who's Pony? I'm like, what? Do you live underneath a rock? So if you want to see how this product performs, then keep on watching. Okay, so I ordered this from YesStyle. It was, I believe, $13.90. I placed my order on May 11th, and the thing with YesStyle is that they have products that will say in stock ships within 24 hours, or they'll say in stock ships within 7 to 14 days, and this product was one of the products that said in stock ships within 7 to 14 days. So I placed the order on May 11th, and then it actually shipped on May 21st, and then it arrived to my house on May 31st. So in total, it took like 20 days to get here. So let's open it. It has a little lightning bolt, and then a little blue stopper. Let me zoom in. Okay, now we're zoomed in. So this is what it looks like. I got the shade Guest List, by the way. Now here's the moment of truth. That was satisfying. <laughs> That's so cool. I believe this product launched in her holiday collection last year. It was inspired by like cooking slash the kitchen. I know she has a face palette, like a butter face palette. I believe this is supposed to be inspired by, you know, pepper grinders not weed grinders which i mean i have nothing against weed i don't smoke weed myself but uh weed is highly illegal in south korea and just asia in general like in the united states it's illegal but most people smoke weed anyways also all my fingernails are long except for this one which broke which actually comes in handy because this is the only finger that can fit in this tiny container so one con right away is that if you have long nails it might be a little inconvenient let's just swatch it first Ooh, that is beautiful oh my god So it's pretty metallic, um, and this is a rose gold color. Let's test it on the eyes. Um, by the way, for my eyeshadow, I just used the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I used Desi Perkins tutorial. I'll link it down below. I'll try this first dry, and then I'll do the other eye wet. Oh. Oh my god. Bitch. Do y'all see that? That is beautiful. Oh my god. That is so pretty. Pony did that. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, and I'm gonna try the other side wet. <laughs> and I'm not even gonna bother using a brush with this just because I know this is a formula that's just not gonna work well with a brush. Oh. Oh. I have no words. This is so pretty. It's super, super metallic. Oh my god. So this is it wet. This is it dry. I mean, it dry by itself is already pretty impressive, but when you wet it, it's like... Even better. And if you have long nails, I guess you could like dunk the product into like the cap and just pick it up from here. I'm going to do a second layer on the other eye. I am truly shook. This is so pretty. Okay, this is it up close. It is so so pretty like it's so metallic and pigmented and if you look up close there is actually um micro glitter in here so it just adds like that extra like oomph you know 
I'm loving this product so far. And application, there isn't really that much fallout on my face. So I'm gonna quickly uh, put on some eyeliner and mascara and maybe lashes. And I really wish I bought more colors. I think, I believe there are four of these and these contain two grams slash 0.07 ounces each. It's currently 11.47 and I'm gonna wear this throughout the day just to see if there's any creasing or any like fallout. So yeah. Hi guys, I'm back. It is currently 8.33. By the way, do you guys like my wallpaper? Hey, comment down below if you are an army. Onto the eyeshadow. So it's been pretty much 8-ish hours and the eyeshadow is still looking pretty good. There's definitely no creasing. There is a tiny bit of fallout on this side, but I think that was from the application, not uh, fallout from throughout the day. Zoom in. So you can take a really good look at the eyeshadow. Overall, I think this is a really, really great product. Now I know the whole grinding thing seems kind of gimmicky, but when you think about it, uh, grinding it does keep the product fresher. Because this is kind of like a cream to powder hybrid product, packaging does minimize the exposure to air, therefore preserving the product better compared to like a traditional product in a pot, which leads me to my next point is some comparisons just based on texture i thought this was going to be similar to like the aritam shine fix eyes or some same the same i don't know how to pronounce it the same eco soul glam eyes or the petty peta holy deep jewel pots but i think all three products are basically the same thing just with a different brand so right here this one is the pony effect one this one is aritam this one is Peri Pera, and this one is from the Sime. And while they all have like a very similar texture, like they have that cream to powder consistency, the Pony Effect one, I don't know if you can see, has a lot more pigment, but these three have a lot more micro glitter. In terms of glitter though, the Sime definitely has the most glitter, followed by Aritam, and then Peri Pera. And the Pony Effect one still does have a lot of glitter in it, but I feel like these three, the glitter is just a bit more noticeable. And then in terms of texture, hopefully you guys can see they have that kind of similar chunkiness. They definitely feel very similar. They both feel pretty creamy, but once you start blending it out, it does start to feel more like a powder. And the thing I mentioned earlier, if you have long nails, you can also use like a sponge tip applicator or a silicone makeup brush. Um, and one last thing is I noticed that uh, there's something with the design or size of the cap. I did notice that some of the eyeshadow actually does fall to the edge of the packaging, which is kind of annoying because it's a little messy that way. Um, so I definitely recommend storing this up tight for one and only grind the amount of product you need. I know it's really tempting to like want to grind the whole jar. Otherwise, I think this is a really, really awesome product. The price isn't too bad. It is absolutely beautiful and it's pretty fun. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.